So this is then how government is immoral. This organization that calls itself the government then only knows how to solve problems through one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus the plurality of non-violent solutions that us three here already share. Yeah. So what do you think of that? I think, how do we stop that, though? Right? <laughs> <laughs> do All right, yeah, right. Let's try it. How do we get there, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> And I want to talk about that too. What do you think of this? I think that's something that's been, uh, I think it's something that's that's been used for a very long time and is, is very ingrained in the system and is t I'm totally wrong. And But the problem is that it's so ingrained in the system only works in that singular way. Right. And so the system needs to change from a, it needs to change from a systematic um, place. It needs to evolve like, it needs to be broken down to its foundation, which is violence, as you're saying, and then reform itself from the ground up. Reform, okay, so in the areas we want to reform, like how do we break, get, get out of here then, right? How do, how do we end this then? How do we uh, break free? And how do we change it? And what you're bringing it up. Um, if you look at this organization that is, that is founded on violence then, um, I will find it then difficult to try to in a way, work from the inside, a lot of people will say, right? If you don't like it so much, why don't you go on in the inside and change it? But yeah. that's kind of like saying, well, if you don't like the mafia, join the mafia on the inside and turn it around when it's founded on extortion and hurting people. Or like, like the KKK, right? A cruel organization, but um, that's going to be weird to try to join the KKK from the inside to turn it against this foundation of racism when it was founded on racism. So I would say like, I mean, and today the KKK number is like less than a thousand. Decades ago, they had over hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah. But the way they're losing a lot of members is that a lot of people are presenting the argument against it, ostracizing those kinds of people. Um, and perhaps that might be the way that we can go about freeing ourselves from the government, doing the same thing we've done to the KKK, and do that to the government itself and ostracize it. Um, and actually build our, a real community here, outside of government, that is founded on real values. It is funded on uh, on shared uh, moral stances that we already have here, right? I don't use violence to solve problems. Let's start something new and something different that is founded on that instead of trying to work forever <laughs> and infiltrate government and try to turn it against something that um, yeah, it's rewire the right, right. The so computer. pull the plug in the matrix and just create our own community instead outside of it. I don't know what we'd call it, Free Asheville, or <laughs> right, yeah. but. But yeah, that's, that is that is the nature of the beast. Um, and of course, um, what areas, I guess, would you, a lot of people sometimes didn't have questions, like, well, if we didn't have government, how would such and such be provided or anything like that? Right. Um, yeah. Do you have any concerns about that? Or do you, do you say, well, it's not that big of a deal, right? Government kind of fucks up everything it touches and let the community build Well, that has, hasn't worked in history either, so I don't really know what, what the answer is. All right. I, I can't. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Right, 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 right. I don't know. Um, what is then, um, I guess, then, uh, how you guys are been here for a while? You guys are at no, We're just here. We, we were just from New York. We, oh. uh, <laughs> we, uh, we're driving through. Oh, me too. <laughs> I'm driving through, heading out to Richmond. Okay. Uh, cool. So driving through from Auburn, Alabama. Okay. And New York, I hear, is quite a crazy place in uh, oh, terms yeah. like they tax your sodas. Right? Yeah. That's got to be weird though, right? They want to stop people from drinking soda, so then the way for them to do that, they feel, well, we'll tax it and people will drink less. Does that mean that when they tax your labor, people will work less? Right? Yeah, <laughs> when they tax their income? Well, I guess apply the same logic. <laughs> yeah, it's very hands off. It's very, it's, it's, it's not in the issue at all. Right, right, right. It doesn't right. take on the issue at all. It's, it's using the mechanisms that they have handy, and they and then they know to historically work, or historic they have historical precedents. But right, that's definitely it's education that needs to happen in terms of soda specifically, in terms of health specifically. Yeah, what well, areas I guess in New York life we guys found very uh, troublesome. Um, I guess in terms of like government getting in your way. I mean, did you guys see a lot of outlets rage with uh, Eric Garner? Right. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of. Uh, Black Lives Matter is very pre very prevalent in New York City at least. And, and the Northeast in general. Baltimore right now too. Baltimore. Baltimore is very nice. yeah. Right. I mean, that goes to go. You know, the, the police are not really here to protect their life, liberty, or property. Right? For that guy, what, what was his crime? Selling cigarettes. Untaxed. Okay, we're yes. going with the tax part, right? The government needs their cut. The government needs their money, right? If you're making money, they got to they make sure they get their money too. 
And that was his crime. And what was his punishment? The death penalty. Right out there on the street. Right? And that's that's government. They'll find any reason to hurt you in any way for any for anything less than that. Yeah. So I would say then uh, our way out, like you're mentioning, how do we get out of here? It's uh, sticking through true to our principles, right? Let's not compromise our principles for politics, for government, for politicians. There's no factual evidence in all of history to show that politics has ever set anyone free. Uh, we're still enslaved through government, especially through taxes. Nearly half your income is robbed through taxes. And I know New York City has a lot of high tax rates. Oh, yeah. Uh, so... Yeah. Right. Uh, so I think the best we can do is just uh, stick to our principles, stick to our guns, uh, uncompromisingly. Don't let anyone try to trick us otherwise. That's what government tries to do. It's wrong for you to steal, but we'll call it taxes. Wrong for you to murder, we'll call it uh, organized war, right? A lot of ups and downs, left and rights. Um, thank you so much, guys, for uh, coming out here. <laughs> I appreciate all uh, the conversations and uh, talking about truth. <laughs> uh, I have a flyer. Wait, no, I didn't bring a flyer. Let me give you a... Um, my car then. Everything you want to know about like how would certain things function without the state and why the anarchy is more superior ethically and economically, it's all kind of in there. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we consider ourselves to be free market anarchists. So Pretty much, uh, as long as you're not violating anyone else's property rights or their persons, then you should be able to do what the hell you want. You know, yeah. everything's about voluntary exchange and interaction, and that's kind of what we base all of our uh, ethics on. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, enjoy cool. your stay in Asheville. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Yeah.